Alright, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be playing Dragon Quest 1 and 2. Let us begin. A little backstory on this um, Dragon Quest 1 and 2. There was a video game shop in town where I live and uh, it was closing down right around the time the start of the pandemic. So they were, they were kind of selling things at low prices and I came across like these four Super Nintendo games of Dragon Quest. I was very excited. I brought them, I forget how much I brought them for, but I, I got all four of them and uh, I, I thought to myself, I never knew they released, you know, Dragon Quest games for the Super Nintendo, but I know that uh, they were released. It's just not, not in North America. And I thought the ones I had here were some sort of limited print but upon closer ins uh, investigation online there was they these were never really released in north america so what i basically have are repro carts with translations on them so i paid for them i was like thinking you know what i'm gonna play them so i paid them fair and square i'm gonna play them um, yeah, so this in today's quick video, I'm gonna play a little bit of Dragon Quest One and a little bit of Dragon Quest Two. Ah, DBL, descendant of the legendary warrior Roto. Long ago, the legendary warrior Roto was given the light orb by the gods, and then the evil King Dragon appeared. He stole the light orb and sealed it away in darkness. Hero DBL, please defeat the dragon and return the light orb by any means possible. So basically, I'm in charge of saving the world and um uh, yeah let's see what's in here oh i gotta search treasure chest 120 gold i think there's a button i could just press okay uh yeah i could just press x what you found the torch db obtained torch Open the treasure chest what you found magic key all right so this is the key that opens the door I do have the Dragon Quest Trilogy on Switch, but the, the versions on those ones are the mobile versions, but the thing with the, the Switch version, instead of playing vertically, it's more widescreen, so. But I don't know whether or not I'm going to play the Super Nintendo versions or the Switch versions, but I do have, like, um, with the Super Nintendo repro carts I have here, I have one, two, three five and six for some reason they left out four either way okay so let's take a look okay let's take a look around town here this is nice and quaint like the graphics just feel like uh, a more spiffed up version of the original dragon quest let's see if we could buy a stronger sword buy okay what would you like to oh would you like to equip this right now no Oh no, I brought a bamboo stick. Okay, I was in a hurry. So, own seven. So the club is stronger. Copper sword is what I would like. And then there's plain clothes. I can buy that. Leather clothes. Leather shield. I get a leather shield. Yes. Okay. I think I need to buy some plain clothes as well. Spell, item, status, equip. There we go. Bamboo pole. All right, that's better than nothing. Okay, let's, uh, okay, let's go. Let's do a little bit of fighting. We're gonna go fighting around the world. You know, it seems standard, like most horns, like on helmets are, like Viking helmets are white. I remember this music on the NES version. I used to scare me as a little kid. Attack, red slime. All right. Gained two experience, found four gold. I can do this for hours. I'm one of those people who who do who do not mind uh, grinding when it comes to turn-based battles. I can sit here all night and just press the A button. I know that seems dumb. I know that seems boring, but I find it very relaxing. There's a lot of red, red slimes all over the place. Where's the blue slimes? I 
I remember here. I remember reading about the original Dragon Quest being um, sh uh, shipped with uh, Nintendo Power. I guess the they made a whole lot of carts and the, it really undersold. Nobody knew anything about Dragon Quest in North America. They were, I guess the I guess Enix back then before they merged to Square to become Square Enix. Enix was in charge of Dragon Quest. You know, they developed Dragon Quest, and Dragon Quest was is very popular in Japan. So popular that um, they avoid releasing the... Uh, oh, I forget how that goes. Like, I think they release Dragon Quest on a holiday, so everybody is off work, and they don't skip work to go buy Dragon Quest games. I don't know. Um, I don't know. People nowadays are that still crazy about Dragon Quest. I haven't really read about anything. But uh, yeah, when Dragon Quest XII came out, I was very... No, Dragon Quest XI came out. I was very excited to play. Like, I played it, and uh, it took me a while to kind of feel like uh, I was into it. Because with Dragon Quest, before that, I played Dragon Quest VIII on the PS2, and that just sucked me right in. But with Dragon Quest XI on the PS4, it took me, a, a, like, at least close to a dozen hours to feel invested. And once I did, I was I was really into it. Like even right now, like every once in a while, I th I'll think about Dragon Quest XI and I say to myself, "I am man, I miss playing that game. Can't wait to tell Dragon Quest XII." Okay, let's go to the inn in the sleep for a little bit. All right, so I'll play for another little while here. Actually, let's talk to some people here. <coughs> DBL, take care when walking in the poisonous swamps. You will lose life and become weaker with each step. So what's in here? What? You found the wing of Chimera. Welcome to the town of Radatome. Or Radatome. However that is said. No, I'm not Princess Laura, but hey, you're one handsome stud. I'm not letting you out of my sight. Oh, she sounds a little loose too. Okay. Yeah, she is following me. South of Rado Tome Castle, and on the other side of the sea, you will see another castle that is enshrouded by a thick fog. That is King Dragon's Castle. Ooh, it's unimaginably frightful. Here's another adventurer. Are you a descendant of Roto? Do you have any proof? Yes. Hmm. You don't have the symbol. Only true descendants of Roto bear proof. Okay, I guess I don't have the symbol. It has been a miracle and depressing struggle just to live. Oh man, times were tough back in the um, 16, 1500s, whatever the middle medieval ages were. When you leave this town to travel, be wary of bridges. Turtle monsters are waiting to strike unprepared travelers. This dude is dead. Whoever is there, please inform the king of our situation. The rescue party for Princess Laura was wiped out. Before long, I will succumb to the same fate. Oh. So he just crawled to a corner to die and to die alone. If you ever cursed, come to me. I will certainly help you. All right, good to know. And this guy with the door wide open to this side of the house, did you, did you know? No. It seems there is town somewhere that sells magic keys. Oh, okay, there's no run button. So this is pretty much the the walking speed for the rest of the game. And the girl's gone. All right, do a couple more battles and then we will move on. Anything strong in the mountains? It's a blue slime. Well, he's gonna get wrecked with my bamboo stick. Another one. I think it was the PS2 that got the uh, blue slime controller with the release of Dragon Quest VIII. All right, one more slime and we will move on to, yeah, slime defeated, cool. All right, let's move on to Dragon Quest 2.
Ooh, we got a cutscene. So this is Dragon Quest 2. A game that I've never played before. Not anywhere. Ages ago, a young descendant of the legendary warrior Roto defeated Dragon King and returned light to the world. The young man, together with his bride, left on a journey to build several new countries. They were very busy. They got very busy. These countries were ruled by the children of that young couple and were handed down to the following generation. A hundred years have passed since then. This is Moonbrook. It is a country far to the southwest of Laurasia. In the courtyard of the castle, the king and the young princess are passing time, the pan, the time with a peaceful talk. Disaster struck. Oh, great Scott. What? What's going on? The forces of the evil priest Hargon have invaded our castle. Damn that Hargon. We cannot surrender. S summon the soldiers at once. Yes, right away. Oh, it's a demon. Oh, so much for delivering the message. If anything should happen to me, do not grieve. Father. I said do not grieve. Now go quickly. I must inform I must inform the king of Laurasia of our situation. It's one monster. Come here, you demon. Take this, you bastard. Oh, they got some uh, cuss words in here. Oh, no. Give it to me. Oh, look out behind you. Uh, blarg. Father. And up in flames he goes. That a brutal death. Would they ever show that in a uh, cutscene? If this game were to ever be remade. Speaking of remakes, there may like I'm I'm still waiting. It's been like almost two years since I heard of the Dragon Quest three remake, which is an HD two D remake, or is it like a two D three D remake? Either way, I'm looking forward to that, and it's a day one purchase for me. Oh, I must go forth quickly and inform the King of Laurasia of our situation. Yeah, this one definitely has a lot more story compared to the first one. I don't even know if the NES version had this much cutscenes. Oh, you're wounded. What on earth happened? Forget about me. I must meet the king right now. There are evil deeds that I must relay. Cough. We understand. Let us help you up. King of Laurasia. The soldiers of the evil priest Hargon has attacked my castle, Moonbrook. Hargon has called upon an evil god to fulfill his intention to destroy the world. Oh, he's dead. Now is the time to come for you to test your strength. Give that brave soldier a proper burial. Right away. The soldier passed away. Treasure chest? 50 gold. What? Copper sword. In Salmatria and Moonbrook, there should be others who share the blood of Roto. If you combine your power with these people, you can destroy the evil beings. Cool. Walking west from this castle, you will come to the town of Lariza. I hear that travelers who head for Sumatra stop there. Okay. I hear that there is a young prince in Samaltria and a beautiful princess in Moonbrook. Prince DBL, for certain you should share a bond with these people. So those are my other allies that I gotta team up with. May the benevolent benevolent Benelev Benelevent Yes. Gods be an ally of benevolent people. Yes, I will be elephant and get out of here. And okay, let's go. Do a little bit of battling, see what the first enemy we come across. I'm gonna say blue slime. Nope. Okay, a blue slime with friends. Okay, let's attack the big slug first. Because the little blue, blue, the little blue slime doesn't give off too much damage.
All right. Oh, the music sounds pretty uh, soothing. Okay, let's see. Uh, how much do I have? Status? 58 gil. Okay, just need to save up like 32 more gold pieces. It's a big slug. You're going down. Being slug defeated. Whoops. I think I better get ready to go heal up in a little bit. These guys don't know how to hit me. Like I played through Dragon Quest 1 on the Nintendo Switch. It was a pretty short RPG. But I'm still on the fence whether or not I should play these through the Super Nintendo versions or the Switch versions, which are actually the mobile versions. I got a one-up. One-up. I leveled up. Okay, status? We're getting there. The music almost sounds like it's um, low, like it comes in kind of slow, like it's loading off a CD. But you know, this is Super Nintendo, so. You know, as much as I love JRPGs, I have been kind of putting off playing JRPGs for my channel just because it's, it takes a lot of time to get through them. And I find myself, as i gotten older, that I when I get home after work, I'm just too tired to, uh, to sit up and play hours of hours of games. Like, I kind of wore myself out playing through... What is it? A couple, a few years ago, I played a month-long marathon of Resident Evil games. You know, playing like two, three hours a night, and um, yeah, it was uh, it was very draining. Like I kind of just rushed through it. Oh God! Don't die! Don't die on me! Oh, there we go. I almost died there. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, let's see. Spell. Don't know any spells. I don't even have any uh, items. Okay, better make a run for it. Back to the castle. No. I'm gonna flee. Okay, there we go. I know I could have taken them on, but I don't want to chance it. Yes. I have enough for a shield. Leather shield. Yes. Okay, I think that dog has a butthole. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's go to uh, that town they mentioned. It's not Moonbrook, but it's the other one on the way. Oh, great. Big slimes. Big slugs, I meant. Every time I run into a middle slime, I always get a little excited. And then there's usually a good chance that it runs away before I get to even attack. Or if I do attack, it's not enough to kill it, and it still runs away. But the... The, what do you call it? The metal slimes are worth a lot of, uh, Experience points. All right, level three. Okay, I don't want to walk through there. I think that's the... Okay, here's the town that I was going to come to. It's a bug.
tool. Iron Ant defeated. Hmm. Pretty funky music here. Larizia. Lariza. Relax and enjoy heal your fatigue before exiting out setting out again. If you set out from this town and walk far to the north, you'll reach Samaltria Castle. Alright. So Samaltra Samaltria is north. Bye. You got any swords? Oh look at that. There's a copper sword. Sacred knife. Chain whip. Chain mail. Oh yeah, I would definitely grind for these, but uh, I'm just going to leave it for now. Look what you made me do, I peed all over my foot. Whoops. Ben benevolent. Yeah, there we go. I was... I don't even... I can't read today. Okay, so let's do a few more battles. Oh, we got a Drackey. There we go. Let's see what's in the uh, desert. Hello. Okay, more of these guys. No problem. So, Dragon Quest 2 is more of the same, except with a more involved storyline. It's another Draki. I think I've beat the first Dragon Quest, I want to say, 20 hours? 25 hours? It was a low number like that. But I think you could probably beat it a lot quicker if you knew what you were doing. Because I remember I beat the game and I was, like, still level 30. Take care of these trackies. Cool. I hope, like, uh, Dragon Quest series never turns into action RPG like uh, Final Fantasy has lately. Going in a direction that's different and still enjoyable. I miss the uh, turn-based battles. So I'm looking forward to... You know, Dragon Quest staying that way. Hoping that they stay that way. I believe they have no reason to change it since the their formula is still very, very popular in Japan. But anyway, so I'm going to leave the video li like this for now. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it. And we will catch you next time with a different game. Until then, we'll see ya. Have a good one.